So just scrying the word in the lingua ignota Livions or Livions, which means savior. And interestingly, I'm seeing a lot of different sparkles, a lot of different lights. And it's as if these lights are all kind of coming together and focused into one kind of like an orb. And it's almost as if there's this crying out to God. And in this crying out, there this prayer is answered, but it has to be like a very pure from the very a place of very deep love, um, very much loving your neighbor as yourself and loving God with your whole heart, whole mind, whole soul, whole being. And what I'm seeing is I'm seeing, it's like I'm seeing a face brought to it. It's very strange. It's like it's a semicircle. But I'm being told this is sort of like an archetype, more or less. And it, it, it's like a, a ladle if you rotated it up. And I'm trying to concentrate into this. And I'm seeing this rotate around. And it's as if the energy is being put through a, it's, it's like a rotation. It's as if this person or this, okay. So it's like God is like extending up into this person and this, or the, this divine energy is extending up into this person and rotating around. So again, we get this idea of a universality of, you know, astrological implications, but basically that this person in this salvific role is working through some divine energy that really is meant to both renew and purify in one sense, but also fulfill a very deep cosmic dream in the other end. I'm very much getting a, a Pisces Virgo um, flavor here, which of course you need all the other signs to really bring in those uh, things in the fullness of that polarity. But it's beautiful. And Hildegard of Bingen, I'm seeing her, she's sort of coming in and she's saying, it's like she wants to take my hands and say, feel into this, right? It's like the, the, the Virgo energy, the crying out is this purified energy saying, please, God, please, Christ, please save us. And please help us to be purified of our sins, be purified of the uh, corrupted state of this world, or further purify the corrupted state of the world, because it's always, this dynamic is always going on. And in that, God comes with this very Piscean energy of a beautiful dream, and it's it's each of those at the same time because you know Christ was very principled when he was on when he walked the earth, but also he was bringing out a purification of our mind at the same time, and in so doing he was he was reconciling a very deep and cosmic dream of hope. And I'm being told that this is it. So uh, really recommended uh, meditation for you all. And thus ends the vision.